What's going on guys, Naz here on the Spooling Up channel. Um, today, back in the Mark IV Golf GTI, only this time, um, not doing any modifications, I'm actually here to fix um, the water leak that's still getting into the car. Now, I do believe I solved some kind of problems before when I worked on it, but I think that there's um, still an ongoing problem there of some water treacling in. It's really annoying. The car's dry at the moment. Uh, but it's because I've been driving it for about an hour or so. But, you know, um, when it's late at night, I'm getting water droplets on all the windows. And it's really annoying because um, it takes ages for the car to demist and stuff like that. So I've really had enough now. Um, what I thought I'd do this time is just work my way through a list of things that it could be. Not thinking, oh, I've definitely fixed it. Um, I'm going to be taking off the scuttle panel and the wiper arms and everything down at the front of the vehicle um just to see because um like i said before there's some um sitting water some muck some leaves all that kind of stuff down there i know um possibly the grommet for the um bonnet release um cable is there and um, a few other bits of where water can get into the car so i'm gonna go ahead and strip all that down and see what i find <laughs> lurking below obviously it means i've got to take the wiper arms off not too bad this seal here and then um, try and get rid of this panel um, if there are any cracks gaps or anything like that i may try to repair it first with a bit of silicon or something um, but yeah let's start stripping it and um, see where it takes us first things first it's pretty simple just need to get these caps to reveal the nuts that hold on the wiper arms. I believe that they're just going to be 13 mil, so I'm going to get my um, ratchet ready. Right, guys. So I've got the nuts off. Um, at this point, when you're undoing the nuts, you want to be careful with your ratchet. You want to hold the arm still as you undo it, um, because you don't want it to start moving the um, wiper arm and stuff. You just need to hold that in place and um, undo them. As for now, they normally are quite seized. Um, onto the spindles there so it's going to take a bit of pulling um, and a bit of wiggling around just to pull these off um, and then they'll come out of the way and then I'll look at the next bits for getting this panel off now you want to be careful before you pull the wiper arms off that you note the position that you took them off in and put them back in exactly the same place because if you put them back in the wrong place um, they can end up sort of running off the windscreen um, or if you put them on too low they'll end up coming all the way down to the scuttle panel so you've got to make sure that you put them on in exactly the same place that you took them off you can mark them you can mark them if you really really want to mark them um, you could literally just mark up on the spindle to the wiper arm just so you know they're in the right place but for me my windscreen's a little bit dirty at the moment i know where they're going as long as i don't put them down too low or too high and um, then everything will be right now removing wiper arms is never really really easy normally you can pull them and give them a bit of a yank but i've actually had to pop out yesterday and um, buy this wiper arm pulling tool um, just because i struggled so much so i'll quickly show you how you set this up and then um, i'll show you how it works right guys so you literally set it up so that the two um, prong type fingers go underneath the wiper arm and this bolt piece here um, lines up with that spindle and you just tighten it and it should pull it off um, if you get this part slipping off the spindle um, you can just put the nut back on a little bit and let it sit inside the nut and then um, it should help you when you twist it enough right so now the arms are off there we go I will be wire brushing them up before um, I put them back on I'll wire brush them just to get rid of some of the corrosion and stuff and I'll wire brush with my Dremel on the inside of the wiper arms it's time to remove this seal off and uh, put that somewhere safe now and then um, I'll just be removing this cover here for the pollen filter and then hopefully I can wiggle that whole panel there off now at this point you should use a plastic pry tool to pry the panel away from the windscreen but unfortunately um, I don't have any plastic prying tools so all I've been doing is using these scrapers that I've got to wedge 
place sort of slide it along and gently lever it and it started to come away so I'm just going to work my way along the whole front and then see if it comes off right so that's now been removed as you can see everything down here um, you've got your wiper motor and wiper arm linkages there's the um, cable for the bonnet release down there in the corner ECU then here in the middle pollen filter and there's uh, my boost gauge uh, vacuum hose so all I'm going to be doing is pulling all the leaves and all the bits out of here seeing what I can find sealing up any openings that are there when you want to remove that panel the best thing to do is remove it up towards the roof of the car up towards the windscreen because um, it's bigger on the corner so you won't be able to pull it through this way the bonnet gets in the way but yeah I'm just going to start removing all this stuff now I've got my gloves on because I don't know what kind of dirt and gunk's down there and um, yeah just time to get it um, really nice and clean now I want to suck all the leaves and debris and stuff out of here before I move the actual pollen remove the pollen filter tray um, and all of this dirt and what, what not funnily enough for Christmas somebody actually no it's for my birthday in November somebody bought me a 12 volt vacuum cleaner which is going to be the perfect tool for the job so I'm going to fire the car up and clean everything up with this so all I did um, I don't know how well you can see it but right in the corner there just behind the bonnet release cable down here there's um, a drain hole and there's also a drain hole over on this side now they're not blocked they're not blocked but what I did was I just pulled a bit of water down here just to get a bit of cleaning action just to see what was happening and um, lo and behold I got some water in the footwell so let's go and take a look so in the corner here around that plastic trim where it meets the carpet behind the pedals there are some water droplets now that's just come from me pouring a little bit of water down behind where that cowling would go and I used to see water droplets here before but what I put it down to was <coughs> excuse my crusty footwell as well I haven't had time to clean my car um, this water is actually on the exterior of the windscreen but I used to get water droplets well I still do on the um, windscreen on the inside and I, my theory was it was running down the windscreen around the back of the dashboard and just falling into the footwell um, so you know it may or may not have been a possible um, entry point for the water but um, yeah it seems like it's coming in there at this point in time I've got two options um, I've heard before that um, if down behind the wings if down here gets clogged up water can get in but it seems like it's coming up higher so I don't think that drain holes like compromise further down I think it might be the grommet around this bonnet release cable because I actually a little piece of it was hanging off so like um, it's pretty solid it's like the sealant that <coughs> goes around it um, so I might just seal that up and um, pray and hope that works but what I can do is I can pour water only in the drain hole and avoid the grommet and see if water gets in the car and then I can try and um, block the drain hole up with something and then pour water around the grommet and see if we get water in so I think I'll give that a go right so I think I've actually found the real culprit and it seems to be getting in around this where um, some of the wiring goes through into the car, some of the loom. So I'm gonna undo that and just have a look under that. I don't know if that's a common one for these cars, but it's definitely getting in there. So I'll have to lift it out of the way and have a good look. So in order to get this out of the way, I just had to undo the 10 mils holding it down either side. And then I had to undo all of the 10 mils on the wiper linkage um, so I can get the box out of the way. So I'm gonna pull the wiper linkage and motor and everything out of the way now get down to this box right then here we go so I've had to unplug all of these plugs as well um, it's possible that someone may have worked in this area before because there's actually a seal on this a rubber seal going around the edge and it's crushed around here so it's probably and on this side as well so that's probably where it's actually letting in the water um, into the car what I'm gonna do anyway is I'm gonna clean everything up and um, I'll put this back down, but I'll just be putting some silicon on it as well, just to try and help it seal. And then hopefully that will do the job for me. Okay, quick update on this one. 
I've cleaned all around the seal on this tray that's ready for some silicon and also down there it's been completely cleaned time to get some silicon around the edge where the seal will sit and around the um, grommet for the bonnet release and um, then I'll plug everything back in and get it sitting back down and fingers crossed man fingers crossed this does the job for me right guys we are all done now in terms of the silicon in got the silicon around that whole um, plastic plate and also around the um, grommet for the bonnet release so I'm just hoping now if I put everything back together it'll all be good and um, I'll do a water test but obviously not today I need to let the silicon dry I won't do it until later or another dry day I just wanted to say something really quickly about this job as well um, because I did have a lot of leaves and gunk around this area it wouldn't have been blocking the drain hole but it may have stopped some of the water getting to it and that's when I saw it sitting around this area so that may be how it was sort of getting into the car um, as well so it may not just be that that's not sealed very well it may be that the water couldn't exit so well either so um, let's see how it goes anyway right so giving the um, scuttle panel a good old clean up I'd like to replace it man because of this you know obviously that clear plastic normally goes over the chassis number there um, but yeah it just gets brittle and it just literally crumbles man that's literally crumbs um, everything's all sealed up it's still drying I've touched a little bit of silicon around the um, bonnet release cable grommet um, it's still drying um, as for the spindles on the wiper linkage I've um, put a little bit of WD-40 on them rubbed them with um, wire brush to get any corrosion off and my wiper arms are all clean um, I use my Dremel on the inside of those so all the corrosion has gone and there's a little bit of copper grease in there so I'm going to go ahead and put the scuttle panel back on then I'll do the um, column filter tray thing there and I'll put the wiper arms on and then that's pretty much it man um, just going to have to wait for now I'm still um, because it's been raining and I can't actually spray anything indoors my catch can bracket um, I'll just have to do the last lacquer coats and then that will go on as well and then I'll pretty much pretty much have done all the little tiny bits and bobs that are on my list at the moment but stuff is always creeping up so I'm sure there'll be something else all right so everything's all back together obviously not forgetting the um, column filter tray and the seal that runs along the front of that scuttle panel there um, all I can really do now is just wait and um, wait and see what happens hopefully no more rain gets in there's supposed to rain tonight right now it's um, about 3 p.m. I believe it's supposed to rain at around 8 um, so hopefully the silicon's all dry by then it's got plenty of time and um, hopefully there's no more water getting into the car man but I'm glad I took it off anyway had a good nice clean down there everything looks a lot more fresh um, hopefully replace that soon gonna finish spraying up that bracket now and um, onto the XR2 okay so that's about it for today's video um, just hope and pray that that definitely solves the issue with the water getting into the car um, I'm 99% certain that it's gonna sort it out this time because there was a lot of water dripping in when I was pouring it down in that area um, so I'll keep an eye on it over the next days weeks whatever and I'll give you guys an update for sure um, Obviously, I've still got some stuff to do on this car before it gets mapped. I've got plenty of stuff to do on the XR2. Um, rocker cover spraying, hydraulic lifters, um, valve stem oil seals, obviously new rocker cover gasket as well. And I've got a brand new K&N air filter coming for that as well. Um, I've just been holding back a little bit on the Fiesta because at the moment, I'm trying to move house into a house with a garage. And there's no point in me throwing money at all these new bits and bobs and getting bodywork done and everything and getting the car ready for the road when it's just going to be sitting on the driveway. Um, rotting again so I want to be able to dry store the car so I'm um, hopefully moving to a place of a garage soon and um, I'll crack on with that Fiesta and just uh, throw a load of money at, at that no problem no hesitation um, guys uh, thanks for coming to watch the video do not forget to like comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you on the next one